So we are having a two uh, MCB and MCCBs. So one is the MCB and we are having MCCB. You can see MCCBs, ACB, air circuit breakers or vacuum circuit breakers. These are the uh, breakers you generally see in the low voltage system stream. And also you, you can see RCCBs like uh, residual current uh, circuit breaker, EL circuit breaker, ethylene K circuit breaker. So these are uh, for the safety purpose. Let's be able to talk that is separate. So generally for all the equipment for protection, you can use MCB, miniature circuit breaker, module to K circuit breaker, which is MCCB, ACB, A circuit breaker, and VCB is a vacuum circuit breaker. So generally the MCBs, miniature circuit breakers, which are generally used mostly up to 100 amp stream. The characteristics of this MCB are the rated current mostly uh, maximum up to 125 or 100 amps, that's it. And the trip characteristics uh, where you, know, you can uh, trip this, uh, the breaker uh, with the uh, some threshold of the current that can be, that, uh, that cannot be adjusted in the MCBs. And uh, these are generally operated on thermal or thermal magnetic uh, kind of operations. So MCBs, uh, a simple way, the MCBs, if your current rating, rated current is not more than 100 amps, like 63 amps, or 32 amps, 16 amps, uh, uh, so we can, have, we can place the MCBs there. And here the trip characteristics are, cannot be adjustable. They are standardized, standard uh, trip characteristics characteristics and if you see mccbs these are rated current having a rated current up to 1000 amps the trip current may be adjustable you can adjust the trip characteristics of this mcb mccbs and um, so same it is also having a characteristic of thermal and thermal magnetic operations and if you talk about the acbs a circuit breakers which are exist up to the rated current of uh, 10000 amps <clears throat> and uh, the trip characteristics uh, can fully adjustable, including the thresholds and the, you can also mention that delays everything in the A circuit breaker. It's usually uh, electronically controlled uh, or uh, like a micro uh, con processor controlled kind of thing. So these ACBs generally we will use in the main uh, power distribution team. Uh, where you know, the main incoming is coming. So if you just recall our uh, LVAC SLD, the main incomings after the two transformers, we placed ACBs, A circuit breakers. After this, uh, it is uh, distributed to the X loads. Uh, so for each load, you can have MCB or MCCBs, depends upon the current flow uh, through that rated current. And vacuum circuit breakers, uh, rated current uh, up to some 3000 amps or 4000 amps. And uh, these breakers interrupt the uh, arc in uh, vacuum bottle. So generally these are applied, these, these type of breakers can be used up to 33 kV level team. In 33 kV also, uh, we are using vacuum circuit breakers. Sir. So these are the different uh, applications where we, we required MCB or MCCBs, ACB and VCBs. So MCB, MCCB is ACB and VCB. It's similar to like a breaker. Uh, like uh, if I'm talking uh, uh, point, in a, if I'm stressing uh, with respect to the breaker, ACBs and VCBs are generally uh, relates, uh, the functionality is related to the SF6 circuit breakers or the circuit breakers, what we discussed in our earlier classes. And MCCB is also the trip characteristics can be adjustable. That is also possible here. But whatever the MCB, MC, MCCBs can be adjustable. MCBs, the MCBs, the trip characteristics cannot be adjustable. So you have to select the MCB based on the application where of uh, what you are using. So in the MCB selection, it's having a, some condition, something curves we have to uh, look into when you are selecting an MCB for specific application. What is this? We will see uh, in a while. And also you can have, you're having a RCCBs like a residual current circuit breakers. Generally, these are connected uh, face to the neutral 
it will trips uh, the it, it trips the circuit when the there is earth fault in the when there is an earth fault and uh, generally uh, the functionality is the amount of current flow through the phase uh, generally should uh, return through the neutral so if there is any mismatch between the currents flowing through the phase and the neutral that is detecting by this rcd residual current device and it will trip the circuit breaker within 30 milliseconds time that is a time setting for the rcbs uh, so in example if a house generally has a earthing system connected to the ground rod and not to the main incoming uh, cable then it must have all the circuits protected by an rcd tip rcd should be there so the mostly the most widely used or uh, generally 30 milliamps and 100 milliamps devices like uh, suppose a current flow of 30 milliamps is sufficiently small that it makes it very difficult to receive a dangerous shock tip. so a 300 bar 500 uh, milliamps of rccbs may be used where only fire protection is required that is a one uh, example where you are using rccbs for a fire protection the uh, this is 300 bar 500 uh, milliamps and uh, coming to this uh, elcb with is earth leakage circuit breaker the phase neutral and earth wire is connecting now to the elcb before only phase and neutral here the earth wire is also will be there the operating time of the elcb generally uh, this one i am talking in the earthing sessions but the safest limit of the current which human body can withstand is 30 milliamps per second suppose uh, human body resistance is 500 ohms and the voltage to the ground is suppose a 240 volts or 220 volts 30 volts then the body was what is the current 500 bar by 230 gives me nearly to 460 milliamps hence the elcb must be operated in 30 milliamps by this 460 which gives 0.65 milliseconds so that is a time of setting curve how it will follows elcb and rccbs Come to the MCBs. Now uh, we talked about all the things, and uh, when I am talking about the MCB selection, when what are the points that we need to check when I am selecting the MCB? The first characteristic is the overload, which is to prevent the accidental overloading of the cable in a no fault situation. So overload characteristic should be there. The speed of this MCB tripping will vary with the degree of the overload. This is usually achieved, can be achieved by the use of a thermal device in the MCB team. And the second characteristic is, we talk about thermal and thermal magnetic, right? So thermal is what we discussed now, overload protection. And the second one is magnetic fault protection, which is intended to operate when the fault reaches a predetermined level and it will trip the MCB within one tenth of the second. Very, very instantaneous. Uh, in a simple, this magnetic trip, the level of this magnetic trip gives the MCB is type of the characteristics or the curve what which curve we have to select for various applications we i will talk about the curves in a while and the third characteristic is the short circuit protection which is intended to protect the short circuit levels or again uh, short circuit currents falls maybe in thousands of the amps caused by the short circuit falls so these three characteristics, my MCB should be uh, my MCB should uh, should should be there. 